for the first the start. Right now. Caleb's getting quickly started. Olivia is getting quickly started on the do now. We're at eighty percent on the do now. Ninety percent on the do now. I need a pencil with it. Right? Calm down, Jenny. So the first time when you talked about, I was already taking care of it. Okay, you don't have to say. Ninety-five percent. Job to this back pain. Good job. Still should see that zero. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please model our best selves right now, just like Rodney is and Vaughn and Cornelius are. from Sade. annotations on those tables for slope, please jump in. Mariah, I'm going to give you a point for excellent work, but I think annotation is superb. Good. That was time. I see a lot of people are still working on the bottom two. I'm going to give one minute, ex actually a 30 second extension for everybody to try that bottom question, you see an equation that says y equals 10x minus 9, and I want you to at least write two things you know about that equation. 34 seconds have been added to the clock.
later, but I'm actually, the announcement is that the homework for tonight um, is actually optional for this group. The reason is that the homework was designed to reflect on your unit quiz results, and the printout for it failed. So I don't have the printout results for you guys. It's optional, though, because most of you know your results from last Friday's quiz. Raise your hand if you remember what you got. Corey, I remember. Remember, it showed you your results. Rodney remembers, Junisha, Julia, if you forgot, um, raise your hand if you have a computer or a phone at home that you can check. If you forgot, you can also go to your school email and check it, and you can do the homework for bonus, but since not everybody has those results, I'm not going to require it. Um, today's class, we're about to rotate into stations. Um, it's going to be amazing because you are amazing. Let's give two snaps for that start. Um, stations. Turn to the very last page in your packet. Thank you, Very last one. I made a, the, I kind of made a mistake on copying. So the exit ticket is in the last one. It's a second to last. And you see at the top, what stations at the top class? Independent. Take a second to just skim over the directions. So we know what to do when you get there. I mean, the eyes should be on the paper. I should be on your paper. All right, just to make sure we understand, when you get to the independent station, you are going to log into what website, based on what you've read, Google what website? Classroom. Google Classroom. Um, then before you start, you're going to write down your goal for the day. So you're going to write down what? Goal. Your goal. You're going to practice on, just like we did yesterday, same sheet that you're going to click. Um, and after you have mastered a skill, you're going to write it down. So what do you do after you master a skill? Write it down. And then what is a little new is that I want, after you've mastered a skill, we're going to take time to kind of sum up what we learned. So you get an option after you, let's say I practiced how to plot a coordinate point. And you are going to be able to write down like a saying, or you can kind of make some a fun story to help you remember. So my example is like graphing a point on a coordinate is pretty legit, and it can, means I can tell you exactly where to go. And I'm trying to make a connection. I bet that's important for things like navigating an airplane, where you have to tell planes exactly where to be in the sky. That's like me making a connection between what I'm doing in math class to something outside of math class. This is like you can draw something, you can write a poem. Just try to take a risk after you practice it. Tell me what questions you have on the independent station. Fistful of fives, like five, I'm ready to go at the independent station. Four, oh, I think I know, I might need to reread them. Three, 